Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 6, The Spinal Frontier, where we've got a ton of codes and have no idea what to do with them. So we're going to head off to the holodeck next, that's the next thing on my list. But some of you guys have been theorising in the comments as well that perhaps the Mr. Soylent Machine in Roger's quarters is the one that had the worn out buttons, so it might be worth trying some of the codes there. And also the DNA sequencer thing we used earlier in the game. You guys were saying that you seem to remember we used codes on that as well, which is entirely possible. So. If the hollow deck doesn't turn anything up, we'll go and check those things out as well. So, um, no, not communications. Uh, I think it was hollow cabana, wasn't it? God, I can't remember. It's been so long. Since we were last here at the funeral bit. It's got to have been like a month to five weeks ago since I last did that bit. Okay, we're here. So, um... The walls have a flat, nondescript finish. Very deceiving when you consider what this room is capable of. Yeah, very... So is this... These are the holodeck programming controls. Okay, so there's some controls... Those buttons seem to be self-explanatory. I wonder what they do. I mean, they won't be self-explanatory if Roger's doing anything. Oh, so there is a... Oh, there is a program. What is this? Hang on, let's let's have you a look. You are looking at two computer screens. Yes, two. The computer screen of your wimpy PC <laughs> and the screen of our far superior Holo Cabana that can render your PC worthless. Wow. I mean, it's probably not entirely wrong still, is it? Even with today's tech, this would be way more advanced. Um, so... No real mystery as to what this... Okay, so... Um, what one? Oh God, I can't remember. I think it was the five code that it mentioned something about hollow, didn't it? When we looked up the the sort of thing on the compost. So let's try that first. Oh. Please enter program. Oh, hang on. I'm pressing the wrong button. Five, 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 one, two, one, two. Something is happening. That's a promising start. Welcome to Hollow Suite Program 5551212, the Volga Nerve. Oh, I see, it's that Vulcan death grip Despite thing. Despite our reputation for being pacifist, we Volgas have developed an extremely practical martial arts technique used mainly for defensive purposes. It is called the Volga Nerve Pin. Okay. This is a tactile oral maneuver in which the applier pinches the bundle of nerve fibers at the base of the neck while whispering into the victim's ear dialogue from either Tango and Cash or Hudson Hawk. Okay. <laughs> this particular combination of nerve stimuli and loss of cerebral control due to the torturous mantra of movie dialogue <laughs> results in a searing flash of pain and then unconsciousness. In effect, it is similar to a temporary orally induced robotomy. Victims are soon rendered unconscious for several hours. When they awaken, they will remember nothing of how they came to be unconscious, if they are extremely lucky. <laughs> I shall demonstrate on my most eager volunteer. Uh, you will please to pay attention. Who's the volunteer? Oh, okay, it's not us. <laughs> I was just going to say, I thought it was going to be us. Address the subject in this manner. Please to notice the location of my hand as I begin the narcotic chant of cinematic morphine. He mutters something thankfully unintelligible into the ear of the volunteer. Right. Tango's on, maybe we're gonna fix me up with your sister. I can follow up the ho and ho ho. We're gonna have margaritas together. Oh, the two of us get ha ha. We have fun. Oh, get a hubba hubba going in the wee. And then blues like that with ho ho ho. That was something. <laughs> As you can see, it is very effective. If you can apply a proper grip to the neck, it will disable nine out of ten neck bearing species. Okay. Wow. This completes our program. Think of it. Right, so... How does that help us? I mean, we've got score for it. Maybe it's something we can use? I, I, 
I honestly don't know. I mean, we've we've got to get down to the the planet's surface again, right? So maybe we can use it on the captain. Um, death grip, I suppose we'll call it. I don't know. We got score, so we obviously did have to do that. So th yeah, the hollow deck was a thing. Um, I just want to try maybe entering some of those other codes we've got just to see if there's anything else we can do here. So let's try just a random one: four, three, six, six, three, one, four. No. Okay. So, let me try a six one because we've got quite a few of those. Six five eight eight six four four. No. Right. Okay. So it's obviously only that five one. The question is, how does that help us out? I don't know. We can try using that maybe on the captain. That's the only thing I can think of, and then trying to hijack a pod or something to get down to the the planet surface. Because he was preventing us from going, right? So let's give that a go. And then if not, then I guess we head and check out those other leads to do with the codes. Right. You summon the ability to leave. Can we do the death grip thing on him? Janitor will go. You must have something to clean up somewhere. Make yourself scarce. We're very busy up here. I mean, how do we even do that? Is it something in our pockets? No. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. Can we just like grab? Yeah. That wouldn't. I don't know. That guy is going somewhere. Don't pick at it. You. Can we like use any of these while he's gone? Occupado. No. You activate the level one pattern detector. Oh, we can do something there. Hmm. Game number one in a series sells 50,000 copies. Game number two in a series sells 100,000 copies. Game number three sells 150,000 copies. <laughs> Game number four sells 200,000 copies. Game number five sells 250,000 copies. Nice. You're detecting a definite pattern here. Y yeah. Um, the question is, what the hell do we do? Yeah, you rearrange the commander's chair and he'll rearrange you. Can we not press anything? What are you going to do? Play more dull combat? <laughs> nice. All right, well, seeing as that hasn't done anything, I guess let's go back to... Where is it? It's not the brig. Roger's quarters. That's what we want. Let's go there. Let's see what we can figure out. See if we can indeed do anything with that Mr. Soylent machine, seeing as there is one here, isn't there, I think. Yeah, that's it there, isn't it? Right, yeah, okay, so this one looks a little worse for wear. Ah, yes, you remember this hole. You got ticked off because the Syrian goat cheese on the grilled orat salad tasted fakey, so you shot the replicator with a phaser welder. Nice. That was back in your salad days. So it looks like some of these numbers here are lit up in some. Don't try to get anything out of this machine. You'll only succeed in getting your fingers stuck to the replicator again. Okay. Don't try to get anything out of it. Oh, so. Don't try to get. Don't try to. Don't try to get anything. All right. Well, it looks like we can't actually use this thing. So that ticks that off the list. So next stop uh, is. No five. Sick bay. That was where the DNA thing was, wasn't it? See if we can use any of our codes there. And then if not, then I genuinely don't know. Uh, this was it here, wasn't it? I think. That wouldn't prove fulfilling. Oh, can we not use it? It wouldn't be. Oh wait, no. Wasn't it on here? Was it on here? Or was that just where we? It was around here somewhere, wasn't it? It's the key. The, it's yeah, the, the keyboard for the DNA sequencer. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Oh, okay. So, so it doesn't. Okay, interesting. So we can't use that either. Hmm. At this point, 
I, I don't know. Um, maybe we can just go to the shuttle bay and get take someone out and steal a shuttle? We've got to be able to use that, that death grip thing, right? The nerve pinch or whatever it was called. Vulgar nerve pinch or... I wonder if we can attack these guys now. I really don't think that's a good idea. He's not the touchy-feely type. No. Oh, hang on. Maybe we can do something to this guy. Ooh, boy, I got you with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. Now you can't <laughs> get away. I got you now that you've got a hard to believe this is a real job. Oh, my God. So how come you're not going down? I got you with your mumble jumbo and your hobbit chili. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I, if I only could, I would. Jeez, if you why don't you step outside, pal? I got you with this and that. Mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. <laughs> All right, he's down. Oh God, we're down. <laughs> oh, we're in the we're in the brig. Were we supposed to do this? Whoa, is that all for us? Hey, we can save. All right, we're in the we're in the brig, and we have actually got some score. I don't know if we were supposed to do that or not. Let's save in case. Okay, so we're in the brig now. Oh God. Okay, he's got a gun. Can we enjoy, Mr. Wilco? Oh, the cushy life will be a vague memory after you are sent to one of the labor camps on Daventry 8. <laughs> Daventry 8. That's a King's Quest reference, I believe. The Kingdom of Daventry. Can we... Can we, like, take any of this stuff? Oh, yeah, we can. All right, well, uh, let's say if this is food. We save there? Yeah, okay, no, we didn't. Okay, food. Now, oh my god, we've got a lot of food here. It's one of the interestingly shaped pastries you took from the food cart. Okay. Cool. Bobbit kebabs. They whip up some interesting food items in this joint. I mean, they do give us some good food in this place. It's the donut you filched from the food cart. What's this spaghetti? It's a plate of grill hair spaghetti. Ugh. A watermelon. It's a nice round melon. <laughs> okay. I remember what this is. It's a rack of Orat. Haven't seen this stuff since Space Quest One. Ah, uh, yeah, Orat. It's a tuberous growth of some sort from the food cart. Okay. What is this? These look like something they cleaved from the side of Yoda's head. Oh God, they do. That's kind of disturbing. Uh, can we, like, grab this guy or something? It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Okay. So he's gone now. We, we got a point for stealing the food. Can we... As you run your hand over the graffiti-covered bare plastostone walls of the cell, you wonder why nobody ever cleans this place. Can we do anything in here? I don't have to go right now. I went just before you started playing. <laughs> nice. In desperation, you attempt to bend the bars, roll the toilet paper out the window, slide down the roll, and escape. Oh, he's back. Unfortunately, there are several flaws in this plan. This time he's just got a donut. Can we, like, grab him? When he oh, no, we can't. So he... This is some very fine food, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find it quite to your liking. Heck, it's probably better than what they feed you janitors. <laughs> Live it up. <laughs> oh, that darn light needs to be amplified. I need to contact maintenance. Light? While that's an interesting idea, even Dorf would notice that something would be missing where there were two things, the cart and you. What? What? 
Okay. That that thing is scary. We've obviously got to do something. We've still got this thing here. In this galaxy, those two items don't do anything. Okay. Hmm. So he he's left the donut on there. I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time. We're going to figure this out in the next one. I feel like we've actually made progress here. Whether or not we got ahead of ourselves and did the wrong thing, I don't know. Because that was all very sudden that we ended up here. So, I'm not too sure. But we'll um, we'll go with it. We'll see what happens. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>